Here at BTL, we like to tell you about fun days like National Goof Off Day or National Beer Day, which, by the way, is Thursday. Oh, we got a plan for that. <laughs> but one of the most underpromoted days on the calendar is actually today, National Walk Around Things Day. It is a day when we're supposed hmm. to figuratively walk around topics that we'd rather avoid. Author and motivational speaker, former Pittsburgh Steeler, Arthur Motes, joins us now for a little motivation on our Monday. And we're not going to walk around this one. We're no. coming full force on it. <laughs> well, I'm definitely glad to hear that because that is what I want to talk about in terms of staying present and being in the moment. We know during this time of year, it is plenty of things that can distract us, right? Whether it's work related, family related, it's taxes, and also plenty of things that can just have your mind going a thousand miles at once. But what I want to focus on is talking about staying present and in the moment. And it could be as simple as, hey, right now we're talking, right? Well, when we're talking, I don't have the distractions around me. I put the phone on vibrate, I turn off the internet or whatever is going on, and I give this my undivided attention for however long it might be. Because with by doing that, you help build relationships. You help create memories, moments, and if you know you are a worker, for those people that want to work out there like yours truly, well, you get to actually be efficient and effective with your work and maximize your time because it is so easy, like I said, to just be distracted, to not be here in this moment. And before you know it, you think you're multitasking, you think you're, you know, wearing all these hats and you're excelling at it. But in all reality, you're only given, you know, 50% or 60% of what you truly are capable of. And in that vein, you're cheating not just the task at hand, but you're also cheating yourself. Right. Yeah, it makes so much sense because if you're thinking about the past or you're thinking, worrying about the future, you can't enjoy the present. But I mean, not at all. Some of the problems I think for people is this voice in your head, you know, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's a very negative voice. How do you quiet that? How do you deal with it and really just move past it and be in the present? Man, I am so glad you asked that. So for me, it's a two part process. Number one is perspective. All right, because I always try to say, we know that a lot of these can happen around us negatively, whether that's by a person doing something intentionally or unintentionally. But at the root of every issue is three basic things that a person is looking for. They're looking for love, they're looking for um, attention or a life skill. And for me, I always just try to understand from my side of it, like, hey man, what exactly is causing this person or this issue to really make me feel unease or uncomfortable? And from there, it really helps me keep a positive mindset because now I have a better understanding of what is actually happening. But the second part that I love, and this is something that I use, you know, around the clock, is my breathing technique in the sense of inhaling for four seconds, exhaling for six seconds. It is a scientific thing where literally just slowing down your breathing and making sure that your exhale is longer than your inhale, it makes your nervous system have to relax. It makes your mind have to be at ease and it'll ultimately calm you down to help you really get back into that moment, really get back into having a clear headspace. And it's something that you, you know, you don't just do it when things are rough. You can do it when you first wake up in the morning to start your trajectory on the right way and think about some of the things that you're grateful for. That's ultimately, you know, the things that I like to implement on my day to day that have really helped me out in a, in a major way when I'm dealing with people or just feeling like I'm so busy. Arthur, David and I both did it. As right, soon as you said it, it, we both did it. Hey, it's been a while <laughs> since we brought it up, but I see it right behind you, your book. And, yeah. You know, that's, I remember one of our first interviews with you was because of your book. So you have it sitting right there. Oh, yes, absolutely. The Moats Theory of Life, available at MoatsTheory.com. But that's another thing where I talk about perspective, where I talk about always trying to find the good in people because people are genuinely good at their core. Now, we mask you know, how we uh, articulate our feelings at times, and sometimes that can come off as negative. But when we get down to the root of why a person is needing this, why this person, or you might even be feeling a certain way, once we can understand that, then we're able to move forward with the solution and ultimately keep being positive and keep being a joy for not just us, but those around us as well. Good advice as always. Yeah. Arthur, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Not only do you have wonderful information, just your attitude, your smile puts us in a better mood and we appreciate it. Well, I appreciate y'all and I'm trying not to get pranked. I see when y'all prank, y'all prank to a whole nother level. It's a new so thing I don't here. want any issue. Yeah, <laughs> I, I try to keep my shoes clean and out the way. Okay, I don't want to hide behind a desk and jump out at anybody. I'm on both of y'all team, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I appreciate trend. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Arthur Motes is a regular contributor for Motivation Mondays right here on PTL. Love to see him. So